Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and you are here for a fun kids project where we are going to be painting some fun cards. I'm so excited for you to be here, gather all your supplies, and we are going to get started. So I should tell you what supplies to get, that would probably help. There are some fun, if you have our box, you will see that there are some smaller cards that are already cut. So grab those, grab your watercolors, I squirt, I squirt it out, a few, you just need to squeeze a couple drops, you don't need very much. So I'd get your watercolors out on your palette, then you need a cup of water, and I'll show you the three colors I'm using, Tahoe Blue, Deep Yellow, and magenta. So we're gonna be using those three watercolors and then you need your brush. And then the fun thing is that find this roll of tape. It's a colorful roll of tape. It's called washi tape, but it's basically just a, a pretty kind of tape. And so grab that if you have, if you don't have that, you can also use blue painters tape if you have that. And those are all the supplies. Now, before I start, I would actually like to, we're gonna be doing something together. So before we start each project, we have a motto that we're gonna to say together that you're gonna hear Keenan in the back is gonna repeat it to me as well. So we have, if everyone can raise their right hand. Ready. Okay. And then repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. I am creative. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> And you can, if, you, if you're doing this with your friends, you can do that. Now, I love to do that because this is the, a thing for us to do together to remind you to be brave, to be kind to yourself. If you don't like something, just be kind. And you are creative. You are an artist and you're here today with me to paint. Now, when you are doing this, you have the creative freedom to make this however you like. So you can either follow along like I'm doing or you can make this your own. So I just wanna remind you of that. First step is you're gonna grab the colored washi tape and I'm going to start with this one. So you will see how there are white lines. So instead of painting this and then having the white lines, we're going to actually use tape to make those white lines. So rip off a piece of tape and is this a cool spot? It's a great spot. Okay, and you're going to Put it down. Now, if you can notice, our table has paint everywhere. If you don't have a spot that you can get get dirty, if you happen to do that, I would grab a piece of paper, just grab a piece of paper and put your card underneath it. So that way you just make sure it's okay to get messy there. I'm gonna keep making- Parents love messes. True, I'm just try I'm trying to, <laughs> Kid, you mean kids loves messes? Yes. You love messes, it's okay. We're just trying to not get you in trouble. Well, Nicole's trying to not get you in trouble. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm gonna keep adding. So I'm making diagonal lines for this one. This is gonna be a cool magic trick. Yes, we love magic tricks, I guess, here. I'm gonna add one yeah, more. So I'm gonna do that. Now, so that's gonna be that one. I'm gonna do another one. And for this one, can you see how this one has lines that go like this? That means parallel, and that means they're all in the same spot and same angle. So you can think parallel lines are like, if you're looking at a street, those lines are parallel. Now, for this one, we're gonna have intersections. How fun to create triangles. So this one's creating rectangles, right? Yeah. Yeah. And color rectangles. Now we're going to create triangles by intersecting this washi tape. So I'm going to do intersecting? this. Intersecting? Intersecting. meeting, yeah? Yeah. Overlapping. Intersecting. Overlapping. Intersecting. There's different words you can use. Good words. All good words. So you can decide how, where you want to overlap, intersect, create your triangles. So I'm going to do one right there. So you can see that I overlapped or intersect, I guess, no, I don't know. <laughs> Overlapping, it created three different areas. And even though this isn't a perfect triangle, I love that because it has too. four sides. Yeah, that's fun. So let's see, I'm gonna add You can make your one. own shapes. Yeah. You can if make... you use a lot of little pieces of tape and make a circle. Oh, that would take forever. Oh, 
But that would be really cool. That would be cool. You definitely can. So I'm going to add, let's do one more. This would be a cool one too because you could do a themed card where you do roads, where every, at the end, every white strip, it could be a road. Oh, like more than little, this? I mean, yeah, then you could do like little neighborhoods. Oh, yeah, that would be so cool. Yeah. I love it. There's so many fun ideas that you could do with this project. Now, last one. I don't know if I mentioned this to you, so I'm sorry if I did, I'm gonna say it now, is that we're making cards. So you'll see that this is, yeah, these have color on the front and then on the back they're blank. So you can make these and turn them into cards that you can gift to people. Because if you have our box, you also have envelopes. So that's what we're doing. We're making fun cards to give to people because giving is cool. Giving's that means fun. you could make your own birthday card for a friend. I thought you were going to say make your own birthday card for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that many times. <laughs> Yes, these are perfect for birthday cards. Maybe it's the person who bought you this box. You can make them a card. And with that, this is the fun one. Another fun one is whoever you're gifting this to, what is the first letter of their first name? I said that right, right? Yep. Yes. So for Keaton, I would make him a K. For A, if her name was, his name was Alex. What I was going to say Aaron. Aaron. So many different names. So. I'm going to do, let's mix it up. I did an A here. I'll do, I'll do an E. That's or a good one. Or Alexis. Oh, Alexis, yes. Or Alicia. Oh, I, Aisha. Aisha. <laughs> Aisha, this one's for you. The A would be for you. The E can be for Keenan's daughter, Eleanor. I love Eleanor. So I'm gonna make an E. So what I'm doing is I, I have the same thought where whatever, wherever the tape is, that's going to be white. So I'm going to create an E with my tape. So I'm adding a line there. And then I got to do the, the bottom of the E. And then the middle of the E. Like that. So... Let me put those away. That's a fun project just right there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these would make really cool cards too, actually. Yeah. If you didn't want, to, if you wanted to leave the tape, you totally can do that too. I am going to move that over there now. So that's the first step. The next step is we are going to paint these. So you can see that this is watercolor on it. So I'm going to have my palette next to me. I have my colors all set out. So I have the three colors that we started with. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, let's, we'll do this middle one. I'll make it like this. So when you're using watercolors, you're going to dip into your paint, or your water, hit it off to the side, and then I'm going to dip into my paint. So I'm going to start with blue. Let's do it this way. Start with blue. So can you see I have blue on the top? Start with blue, and then in the next section, I'm gonna have blue. Then what if I go and pick up a little bit of yellow? And kind of mix it in. So Ooh. I'm I love that. So I'm just gonna use maybe or maybe I just want straight yellow. I'm only for this one going to use two colors. So I'm just using yellow and I'm just using blue. And the cool thing is as you see, is that when you mix blue and yellow, you make green. So you can mix into it. So I suggest to just use two colors for this one. And then every time you'll notice that every time I go and I switch from either blue to yellow, I'm making sure that my paintbrush is clean. So I can do go to the next color. So I'm going to go and clean my brush and then go to blue. So I, when I'm doing this, if you can see, is I'm, I paint a little bit over the, the tape. And it's okay because when we remove it, it'll be white. So you don't have to be so perfect about it. You can overlap a little bit. Now, if you want to, I want to show you one other thing that you can do. So as you know, I've been using just those two colors. If you want to make green, 
and have the whole thing green. Another way that you can do this is you can grab your watercolors, just do one or two drops of yellow and then maybe one drop of blue. So this is called pre-mixing. So I'm gonna pre-mix my green and like that. So now I have a really pretty green. Now, here's the cool thing. If you have green and maybe you think, okay, maybe I want, I want it to be a little bit more blue. What if you add one drop of blue and it's gonna create a more turquoise color. So it's a little bit, oh, that's not really turquoise. That's a little bit more green. It's a darker green. But if you want more of a turquoise color, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add one more drop. So this is the fun, you're like a scientist, you're making different colors. I know it's a small What's spot. your best evil scientist laugh? Oh, <laughs> you do it. <laughs> That's creepy. It's perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. Have you been practicing that? No. It's brand new. <laughs> now, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do the next one. So you have the opportunity to make this, like I said, however you want. If you want to mix up different colors, maybe for this one, we're gonna do a rainbow of different colors. So I'm just going to have a clean brush, go into my yellow. So maybe each section is a different color. The important thing is that you just go and like I said, you clean your brush each time. And the reason why is that if you mix too many colors together, you might get a brown, which is okay. If that's not a color that you want, then just make sure to dip into the water and clean it out. But the cool thing, brown's a great color. It is a great color. It's the color of wood? Chocolate. <laughs> that's better. It's that's way probably better than... way better than wood. I just saw wood and I was like, that's brown. <laughs> You're right. Okay, now I forgot to say, I wanna make orange. And so I'm gonna mix to make orange is I'm going to use yellow and one drop of magenta. So that made a really pretty orange. Maybe I'll do orange right here. Oh, it's kind of more of a red actually. That's a pretty color. It's really pretty. So you never know what you're gonna get. And I wanted to say is that we, if you have our zine, if you flip through, so this is the project that we're doing together. If you flip through, there is a color wheel that you can see and it shows what we just did. So we did magenta and yellow equals orange. So that way you have this to always reference and go back to as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on going. Let's see, I need a green. Let's do this there. So I'm just gonna paint in each section a different color. Keenan, what's your favorite color? Well, today. Today? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of gloomy out, but I actually love the color of the, the gray clouds. Oh, you do? I do. Every time it rains like this and it's kind of blah outside, I just I love it. It's so nice out there. But usually a good turquoise and a good sunset orange. Mm -hmm. Those are my faves. Those are good ones. I didn't know you liked gray. Yeah. What am I trying to do? So while... I was thinking while Keenan was talking was you might have seen that I had some pink when I was doing the blue, so it made purple. Pretty. And that was really cool because within it, it made that. I'm, I want to make my own purple as well. So I'm going to take, to make purple, you're going to add one drop of blue, one drop of magenta. Oh, get this really pretty purple color. Very. Wow. Pretty. That's like a superhero dark purple color. Yes. Is there a superhero that that's color? I think Robin, uh, Batman and Robin, I think Robin had a dark purple. Mm. Yeah. You can mix it on your palette. I wanted to make more of a navy blue. So that's that one. So I just added a little bit of blue to my purple. So now you have so many different colors. Okay. Last one. Eleanor's E. So when you're doing this one, I chose to make this one. I don't know if this is all in the shot. Cool. Yes, if you put the, yeah, that's fine. 
I'll just hold it here for a second. Yeah. So I am, I used, I used some magenta, I used red, and I used some yellow. So I'm gonna show you how to do that if you'd like to do that. But remember, you can choose this color palette. If you wanna mix other colors, you can do that as well. And I'm gonna show you how to do this one. So I have on my palette, I have my magenta, I have my kind of orange, and then yellow. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna start with yellow. I'm just gonna kind of paint and then pick up the next color and then kind of paint. So when I'm doing this is that, can you see how I'm not going all the way to the edge? I'm kind of creating a border around her E. If you want, you definitely can go all the way to the edge, but if you see here, kind of creates, think, think of it as making, making a home for the letter. It's kind of sitting there in that home, in the nest. And kind of mix the next color. So watercolors are such a beautiful paint to use because you can see that they kind of mix into the next one. They blend and it starts to create this different array or ombre of colors. We get some pink. So I know it looks a little funny right now, but I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm trusting that's gonna work. And I'm gonna add some more yellow. So I overlap that a little bit, just kind of make some cool things. So the important thing that I wanna say is that I'm using three colors that were close to each other. So if you look on the color wheel, is I use magenta, orange, and yellow. So I'm using the colors that are close to each other. So that's what I would stick with. So maybe you do green, blue, and purple. So just make sure they're close to each other. And that will help them blend really nicely together like that. Okay, so now I finish painting. And what I suggest to do is go take a little break. Maybe you need a, I'm trying to think, you can go get a snack, you can mm, go. <laughs> a fruit snack maybe? Yeah, you can, a colorful fruit snack, you can get a snack. I would take a break because the paint is a little bit wet, so we want to be a little bit dry, more dry. So maybe wait about 10, 15 minutes. Then, so we did that. When you come back, you are going to very slowly remove the tape. So this is the fun magic part. What you're gonna do is I'm going to lift up the tape from it. Ooh. Ah. So you will get those really pretty white lines. Now, if this happens to you and you're picking up some of the paper, that is okay. Don't worry about it. Maybe you just kind of get off to the other side. So I kind of started over there, or I'm going to start over here. I like it how it tears the paper sometimes because it gives it a cool look. Yeah, it gives it some texture. So I gave it some texture. Yes, I agree with Keenan. I'm gonna remove my tape. It is very, very cool. It's better than watching fireworks. <laughs> she should give some fireworks sound effects. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, I needed to go slower. That's okay. That was a quick one. That was a quick one. I'm so excited. Okay, the last thing that I just wanted to say is that you have these beautiful cards. There, if you flip through your zine, I gave an example. If you're, if you're not sure what to write on the back of this card when it's dry, is you can write, dear whoever you're writing to, thank you for maybe buying, getting me this box. You could say, my favorite thing about you is your smile, your laugh, how kind you are. And then you write from your name. And then when you're done with that, you have envelopes. Like I said, and if you have our box or if you don't, you can also, you can ask someone for an envelope if they have it. And actually I do wanna say, is if you don't have an envelope, please still give this card to the person, right? Yeah. 
He yeah. doesn't need an envelope. You can hand it to him. Yeah, you can definitely hand it to them. It could be like a postcard even. Yes. Yeah, you can definitely make it into a postcard. If you do have an envelope, what I did want to say is that there is a worksheet in your zine that has some examples. So you can look at this to get some examples of what you can write. You can maybe write your, if you're giving it to your teacher, you can write your teacher's name. And then you'll see here is that there are space, a space for you to practice the person's name if you'd like. So if you have a crayon, you can draw directly on here. And I just wanted to show you is that if you're writing, let's say if I'm writing, I'm making a card for Ruby. So you can practice by drawing their name. And then what's cool is that you'll see is that I, I wrote, add decorations to your letters, draw circles, hearts, lines, or make it your own. So you can draw circles to the ends of your letters. What did you call these, Keenan? Wheels. Wheels. Just in case those letters fall over. Yeah. <laughs> If you want them to roll, you can add wheels, you can add hearts, you can add lines. So think about this as adding decorations. Ella drew one and it has hearts on it. So they're decorations that you're adding to your letters. Then what you do is you take the card, or take the envelope, take your card that will have your note written on the back, put it in the envelope, you'll seal it. And on the back, I gave some examples of maybe you write love and then your name or you write open me because the person's going to open the envelope and once you seal it one last thing just to add a little decoration if you'd like is the washi tape the thing that's really cool about this i want to show you is that not only did we you can use it to make your white lines you can also use it as some fun decorations so if you seal this envelope pretend that's sealed and i just added some tape like that then it nice. just is kind of like a bow yeah you just tying it all together. Now, that is, that is all I have for you today. There are so many fun things you can create with this. You can make so many different cards. I just want you to know that I'm so proud of you and so happy that you are here with me, with all of us here at Let's Make Art. And the whole thing about making art is just spreading kindness, making it for other people, and you having fun. So I'll see you next time and have fun. Bye, guys.